I have already started, um, obviously. So tonight is the premiere of House of the Dragon Season 2. I am a huge Game of Thrones nerd. The shirt says, don't make me say Dracarys. I wish it just said Dracarys, but that's okay. But I'm doing a live stream for the premiere because why not? Uh, I'm going to be alone in the house and um, I'm totally fine with just watching it on my own. But like, I've been live streaming a couple times lately and I love it. Um, so I'm using this, my favorite rainbow palette. Tried to use a piece of paper to make a straight line. This one kind of worked. This one was an absolute fail, so I had to take everything off. I do not have my usual powder, so my under eye looks like crap. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I may redo it if the red keeps falling out. I have this in my brows. I have... Mm -hmm. I have this on and this on and then I powdered with this but it's worked in the past and it didn't today so hopefully this isn't a complete disaster and I start over but I realized I'm gonna want to know how I did this because I'm I have plans I'm using a melt liner I don't think they make it anymore but it's really dark in the waterline as you can see Move my mirror into frame a little bit, sorry. Woo hoo hoo hoo, sensory. Oh, that didn't feel good. At all. Okay. The plan is to have like a black line on the top of it and then the water line and then some kind of inner corner. Um, I'm going to put a brighter red on the, like, inner quarter, not corner, but, uh, just kind of blend into that metallic red. I don't know if that's going to work. Kind of looks like the same red, but. There are two different teams in House of the Dragon as of... The finale from season one and um, their colors are either red and black or green so I'm going for the true Targaryen colors here for the red and black in case anybody's wondering this while they're watching this tutorial or whatever the hell this is because they don't follow the show which is fine um, I'm afraid to put more of the metallic red because I don't I don't want fallout but I feel like now it needs to be a tad darker so I'm using this one these don't have names but this is my favorite palette will the sheen pick up a little more yeah kind of will I just, I want a clean line. Should I put it on the bottom and on the top? Maybe I should do that. I need to blend out this situation above. So, because it's just kind of not, not looking right. I'm going to use this, like, slightly darker than my skin tone with barely anything on it to just kind of buffer the edges a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell. Just to kind of round them off. My brows still kind of look like poo-poo, but that's all right. I don't want to mess up this eyeliner. I'm very concerned. <laughs> For an inner corner, I'm going to go into Huda Beauty here. Let's do more of a Gold. Okay, I'm gonna do this 24K color up here. I probably already tapped into it too much. Ooh. This is a cream shadow. Oh, that's too much too. <laughs> ah, okay, now I am yellow and red instead of... We'll say it's Dragonfire color. I don't know why I'm so hyper. Probably because I'm excited about the show and the stream. I'm going to touch up the brows a little bit. 
One, because they just kind of look bushy to me right now, but two, because I use my project pan to kind of even them out and I need to hit a pan this month. So I'm going to try to lightly define this a little bit. I'm not great at it, but I think it's gonna help to just have, it's weird cause like almost everything we try to blend into subtle like lines that aren't stark, but with brows, we want it like pretty much a stark line to make them look neat and even, you know. They're still looking a bit bushy, but I think it looks more even now. Like even saturation. And I think when I put lashes on, it'll that'll be the focus and not the the brow. This I'm using a gray that is slightly not my brow color, but it does well to just kind of fill in underneath and define the lines, which is what I need. I don't like this under eye at all. Uh, I'm gonna take that off and redo the powder and concealer, but after I figure out this whole liner thing. I kind of want it like sweeping up with the red, but I also, I don't know, maybe I'll make it bigger after I'm done with this. I don't know. Just want to blot a little of that off. I want to do a swoop, but I'm scared. Don't think, just do. I'm just going to trace the outline here. This one size liner is incredible, but it's way too advanced for me. <laughs> I can't do a small line with it. Like you gotta commit. I don't really like this side of it, but I like that side of it. So maybe I'll just kind of do a flick. Yes. No! Oh, I went too far. This is going to be impossible to do on the other side um, because my face is not even. Here we go. There goes nothing. Um, I'll try to just do not think. That's not too bad. All right. I want it pointy. When you have hooded eyes, nothing stays drawn like you want it to be. Now I like that one better than this one. I have a little random flick here, so now I have to draw it on this side. It's an accident, but I kind of like it. Um, I'm going to use a muted red for my lips so that it's not like too much. I might change it. I'll be a little less self-conscious with this, I think. You know, this is this is a lot, but that was the intent. Um, this color is called Passion. It's one of the Milani matte ones that looks like a grenade. I just think a brighter red is going to be more fussy, and I'm going to be more worried about it. So these are Ardell 853s. Usually I don't have to trim Ardell lashes, but these I had to trim a little tiny bit. They're they're intense. Mm -hmm. My <laughs> my brows look really dark. That's okay. Let's see if I can do this without the tweezers. No way. Well, now I need them for the inner corner. Oh man. Okay, just come out. Just there you go. No. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. It's not my best lash day, but 
Sorry, they're sticking. Ooh, that looks good with the red behind it, and it looks good with this. Kind of looks like a, like a little dragon wing or something, doesn't it? Oh, that was not intentional, but I like it. It's that little second flick, I think. I feel like I need more red on the bottom. But let me get these suckers on first. I don't know why I didn't do this on the first side, but I'm going to put a little dot of glue right along the lash line. Sometimes this glues the, the shadow to your face, but we're going big today, so it's all right. My cheeks look blushed in the mirror, but not on the camera so much. That's great. Okay. Everything about this eye, what am I even doing? Everything about this eye is weird. It's just like shaped differently. The lashes are weird. What the heck is going on? Why can't I put this lash on? Usually this is my good lash. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's almost always my good lash. Nice. What a good lash you're being. I can't curl at least this side of my regular lashes um, when I put falsies on because it just blocks them from like gluing down. But same thing with mascara. It's just like impossible to get around it. All right, so now that the lashes are on and I'm looking at the liner, I think it's cool. I think I like it. All right, so I took this brightest red from for the inner corner. I'm gonna bend the bristles a little bit and just see if I can tap a little more red under here without making it fall out. Could you see that? Because it worked. Oh, there's already red over here. Oh, I didn't redo my uh, concealer. I don't know if that made a difference, but I wanted to do it. I'm going to use just a teeny tiny bit of concealer. I have a feeling that's already too much. So I'm going to use it for both sides. I don't really know what I'm doing here because it still looks really dry. Yeah, I'm going to have to blend the blush a little bit more because it just kind of looks like my under eye is a totally different color from the rest of my face, which technically I guess it is. Alright, that went a little better. I don't know why. Okay. Normally I would put powder on that, but my regular powder that I use is gone. It's, um, it was almost used up and then it fell and it broke, so I don't have a another one. I, I'm tempted to do more with the liner, but I, I think I gotta quit while I'm ahead. Uh, I like it a lot. Um, I need to put contour and highlighter on. I don't really use bronzer a whole lot. Um, this cream shop. I'm gonna go with. I was in the sun yesterday, so I'm actually gonna go with the darkest color here. This palette is called Light. I, I do want some pretty stark. Uh, no pun intended. There's starks in this show either, too. Um, I do want some pretty stark contour just to kind of go with the dark, like black. I don't know how I figured out that this helps my nose contour to be done this way, um, but it just works. I figured it out and now I can use one brush for like everything. Oh, okay. So that's, that's too dark. That's uh, five o'clock shadow dark. So might have just screwed everything up right there, but I'm just gonna, just gonna do some blending with that there, see what I can do, cause I do need a jawline, 
tonight, please. I am really hyper right now. I don't want to get like so hyper that I'm not able to talk. Because I still have a few hours to go before this show is on. I have no idea when this look is going to be posted. I've been really behind on editing. All right, this is a bunch of random um, singles that either people gave me or I bought and I depotted. So rather than like a really shiny highlight, I'm just going to rub in like a matte highlight. I feel like my face isn't covered enough. Like the, um, I don't know. Like there's too much imperfection showing. That's my favorite foundation, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, maybe that's what it is. It's the powder, because the powder I usually use has um, some pigment to it. Where did the contour go? Hello? Like, I can see it there, but it's not, like, making my face look any different. Hold on, baby. I hear the cat meowing. It's part of every video. I'm gonna tap into the lighter shade. I just really want, like, some definition there. Okay. I'm gonna spray the crap out of this, and then I'm gonna come back to it in a little bit and look at it. This is honestly my favorite tech spray so far. It's really good at melting the powder, so it'll probably help. Alright. If you don't see me um, after this, then goodbye. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you after the premiere. Went with the fire earrings. I forgot on the, the uh, tutorial. But the look's not done unless you got some earrings. Oh no, I dropped them. Yeah, if something goes down there, you're like, oh, I might have to sacrifice it. Not contoury enough. Okay. Um, 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 um. Huh.